So my camera may or may not have died, so you're just going to see this graphic for a majority of the video. This issue will be fixed tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoy. Good morning, good afternoon, and good whatever time it is. I'm Trevor Larrick coming to you live from my basement with another episode of Treventine Part 4. This episode, we're going to talk about how school has been canceled and what teachers have been doing to get around that. So if you're not familiar, this is the podcast where you get to hear the thoughts, feelings, and emotions of an 18-year-old senior in high school being affected by the coronavirus here in 2020. So I have my wonderful broadcasting teacher in call with me right now. So let's see what she has to say. Hey, Miss Higgs, would you like to introduce yourself? Hey, yeah, I, my name is Jennifer Higgins, and I teach uh, media at Liberty North High School. Awesome, and media as in broadcasting and newspaper. Correct. Sweet. So personally, I know Corona has been affecting everyone just a little bit differently. How has it been affecting you? So my youngest daughter went to New York City on a mission trip um, that was cut short. And so now she came home on Tuesday and she's been, our whole house has actually been in quarantine because she went to a high risk area. And so um, she's been living in our basement and I've been like taking her food and um, doing all that. So, and I haven't left the house since Wednesday. Um, just re all just been staying here making sure that we aren't spreading whatever germs she has brought back with her from new york definitely so. how, do, how does groceries work with that uh my my husband has been leaving um he has actually not seen her since she came home on tuesday so i'm the only one that she's talked to um he's been leaving to go get groceries um, trying to buy a lot at one time without looking like we're hoarding food, but trying to buy a lot so that um, he doesn't have to make repeated trips. But wow, okay, so um, yeah. that wow, um, so as we all know, school's been canceled. Um, right. How has that affected like w your curriculum going forward? Well, as you know, we do a daily live 10 minute broadcast and we clearly can't do that. So um, trying to figure out how to how to still teach broadcast when everybody's at their house and they don't have access to a bunch of them don't have access to cameras. You know, they have phones which have cameras uh, trying to figure out how to balance that. We yesterday tried to rework our newspaper because when we picked our original story ideas, not you know corona wasn't as big of a deal as it is now so we had to rework our newspaper pages we're not going to be able to print we're going to have to do our paper online this month because there's no one to hand the papers out to so um i've spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to how to best serve the needs of you know 150 students at home with a variety of wi-fi issues and technological you know differences I, I bet that's a, a headache um yeah <laughs> so as of now our school we're only on like I guess cancellation of school until April 6th do you have a, right. a strong opinion on if it'll get extended or not um I don't I, I I feel like it might but I really don't want it to I mean maybe an maybe another week but I really want to go back at some point. I really don't want to not see everybody, you know, until August. So mm -hmm. now if school does indeed get canceled, what are you just going to keep doing what you've been like working on? Um, I guess like yeah, curriculum wise. I've, I've kind of tried not to think about it because if I think about it, then maybe, you know, it'll happen. So, uh, but yeah, probably just, um, what I came up with for my broadcast class classes the, for this two weeks is just a ver like five different projects, um, and they could work on one of the five. And this is one, of, you know, this is yours, your project. Um, and then I'll probably maybe try to come up with some different ones so that they're not the same exact one. Um, and just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think you're making the most out of what we have right now, so that's right. That's exciting. So um, you also have a daughter that's the uh, same age as me. Um, right. How has she, like, responded to this ill-prepared, as of now, last day of senior year? 
Um, I mean, she's not she's not taking it too well. <laughs> um, you know, the thought of you know um, prom being canceled. You know, we bought her dress last week. You know, um, the thought of you know we've been trying to figure out how many who who gets her seven graduation tickets. You know, we've been trying to figure that out, and the thought of the, you know the thought of that she might not even get a chance to walk and. Um, We've got a grad party planned with six people. Like, do we still have the grad party? You know, um, and she's not really been taking it well. And she had a job with the Royals um, mm. for this year. And obviously the MLB is not starting for a while. And so that's been very disappointing for her as well because uh, she was really excited to work for the Royals. And now, I mean, she will at some point, but at she was moment. looking forward to opening day last next weekend. So. Yeah, that, that's rough. Um, yeah. You being a mom, does that hurt you a little bit in t inside too? Well, of course it does. <laughs> because, you know, she's she's not one that has loved school, her, you know, through middle school and high school. She's been ready to graduate. But now that that's actually here, you know, she wants to enjoy the last two months. And you hate to see that taken from them. Mm -hmm. I, I would agree. It's it's rough not being able to see uh, not yeah. only like the social interaction, but, uh, you know, seeing teachers. That's one thing right. that a lot of people don't think about. But right. Oh, well, I'm... Yeah, it's hard. I mean, I'm used to seeing everybody every day and now you don't get to see them. And I've tried sending these funny jokes every day to try to, you know, at least make them laugh. Maybe if I because if I can't see them in person, you know, at least some sort of daily reminder that we're all still here and we're all still connected. I mean, they make me laugh, so you're doing Thanks. a good job. <laughs> All right, Miss Higgins, I don't want to keep you on too long. I appreciate right. you coming on and sharing your, your thoughts. No problem. All right, well, you stay safe. Wash your hands. Okay. Thanks, Trevor. Bye. Bye. All right, so, yeah, that was the wonderful Mrs. Higgins. She is the broadcasting teacher at the school I go to, and she's the one that has blessed me with this uh, opportunity to do, a like, a daily sort of fireside talk, I guess you could say. Um, you know, I, I was in planning on doing this either way, even if it was a project or not. I think it's just a great opportunity to have some sort of um, record of history. And if I'm able to do that and I'm able to conceal the thoughts and like emotions of the people my age going through a crisis like this, I think it's something that could be almost as useful in the future as, say, the World War One letters that we're still reading today. Um, you, you learn so much about the psyche, about how people have changed and what they've been going through throughout this time. And I think it's just an amazing opportunity to have such a technologically uh, sound time. Now, like right now, I'm kind of blessed with all the equipment I have here. I have all the, the sound boards, microphones, computers, cameras. I have, I have lights in my room. A little too bright right now can't really change that but you know just having this this freedom to help spread the thought and communicate um these emotions is just a wonderful thing to do and especially you know i think right now in this time of crisis everyone's kind of going bonkers and they don't know what to do i know uh people are buying all all the ammun ammunition um they're buying too much toilet paper to be frankly honest and they're just kind of going all out and they're trying to like possess something and I feel like this is my my way of possessing um possessing thoughts and emotions that I could pass on to you guys and hopefully you guys enjoy um what Miss Higgins is doing is is absolutely amazing um I feel bad to be in her shoes with a daughter that has just got back from mission trip in New York and just seeing something like that it kind of breaks my heart, especially I, I'm in the same shoes as her other daughter that's the same age as me, who is missing out on all these uh, wonderful senior year things that's supposed to happen at the end of the year. So it's just, it's it's an interesting time. And I think if I can encapsulate that and put it on paper or put it on video in this case, I think I'm doing my job. And as long as I'm staying out of everyone else and not interacting with other people, like what Miss Higgins is doing is wonderful. She is actually looking out more than I feel like most of us are, but she's also a very wise, wise person. And I think her ability to do that is going to be 
her and everyone else is going to be what stops this virus. And, you know, more and more information keeps coming out every single day. Um, I believe people are saying that the, the coronavirus is now mutating. There's two strains of it. Um, when I was talking, I went to Emily's gym today and we were talking, I was talking with Emily and she said that her dad has a doctor friend that's in like Italy and like the part that's getting hit the most, I'll have to get her on sometime. But she was talking about how like the, the death rate up there were like quadrupled or tripled or something like that. Don't, don't quote me on this, but like, it's interesting to hear. And she said, I think like about 35%, maybe a little less, a little more heard the actual people dying of corona and they don't know what everyone else is dying from so hearing something like that is just weird because on top of corona we could have something else that's bothering us and affecting us so it's just you know finding this this balance and i i I never thought this would happen in my life i was just kind of chilling you've heard the spanish spanish flu you heard about mers you heard about um ebola but you never thought about stuff getting and affecting us um, I actually read, I was reading this article earlier, earlier that was like how Corona could change the world forever. And at this point in time and point in suffering, I feel that right now it seems like there's no end to this, but there will be eventually. Now, don't quote me on this. It could be a situation like the flu where it just comes around seasonally and all we can do is get vaccines. But I feel like at the moment in time we're at, there's nothing else or nothing more that we could do besides take it day by day and trust the uh, officials. Now, there's uh, there's so much speculation around it. Like, is it some sort of conspiracy with the Chinese creating this to uh, wipe out people? Or is it something more, um, more natural or even religions coming into it? Future episode, by the way. It's just, it's something that we don't know how to stop yet and the when we figure out how to stop it or even slow it down that's when life's gonna i in my opinion return to like a more normal state um yesterday i watched the movie 1917 for the first time great movie by the way it blew my mind i didn't think you could get a uh, a one take shot that's so um what's the word so believable and i thought it, it was a really good job but there's a moment in that movie that made me think of this this uh, crisis we're going through right now, and that was like, there was a scene where the main guy got on a truck with a bunch of other uh, soldiers, and they were talking, and then they, they look out to the land, and like, we've been fighting this war for three years over this, this piece of land, and it's like, at the time, they were like, there's not no end in sight, and all they ha- could do is just keep going day by day, and I feel like that's what we have to do, and we have to transfer that opinion and... Uh, that way of thinking into fighting the coronavirus and trying to figure out a stop. So I've just been kind of rambling on there. Um, I'm kind of changing up the order of how my podcast was. I think I mentioned the three things at the beginning, but if not, it's um, how it's influencing me, what's going on in the headlines, and uh, what I'm doing today. So we just covered basically... um, how the coronavirus is affecting me and that's with no school um i take really i take a lot of pride in my journalism and especially with miss higgins class so i think she was one of my better teachers to have on to uh talk about this discussion and you know um monday today is what is today today's saturday uh march 21st at 3 17 p.m central time and i think what's going to be interesting and what um what's going to happen is just, I'm intrigued to see how online school goes. I think after the first week, oh, there is a bug on my soundboard. What the heck? I think after this first week of online schooling, I'm going to make a podcast to talk about if it's, if it's good or not, you know, and in my opinion, I'm not a huge, uh, huge proponent of it, but I, I'll, I'll try it at least. And if it's just not my jam, it's not my jam. Um, it's only for a month left. So, month, month and a half, depending on the way how you look at it. But yeah, I, I really like what Miss Higgins is doing. I think she's trying to do the most out of what we have. Um, ideally, I would have had my calculus teacher on here because it's an AP calculus, um, my AP calculus teacher, and it'd be really interesting to hear his thoughts and opinions on how he's been been preparing. I know um, right before we left, he said that 
since all the colleges are going online, he thinks that we were going to go online and that school is going to get canceled. So he actually started preparing for this. And then lo and behold, school got canceled and now he's ahead of the game. So he he's a pretty smart fellow when it comes to that. And I, I'm glad he did that. Um, it's just going to be interesting to see what happens because I know uh, there's like been Zoom lectures. There's been YouTube lives. There's just been trying to figure out different ways in which we could still teach class from being at home. And I don't know. I think just in my opinion, being at home, I lose a lot of motivation because I could literally go five feet over that way, lay on my couch, watch a movie, or I could go out, go fishing, or I could go clean the house. I could do something else that I want to do rather than school. It's not like I'm in this structured environment where I have to uh, be told to go learn or be told to do something else. So I think seeing whatever happens is going to be very interesting. And, you know, I'll just keep you guys posted on what, what I think. Tomorrow's going to be my last day of my spring break. So we'll find out what happens. Um, I have a physics assignment, a physics assignment due that I haven't started. I should probably start that pretty soon, but I'm just not motivated. Plus, I probably don't remember what we were learning. Uh, so that's interesting. And then besides that, I just, without school, I think it's going to be, I'm intrigued to see how, like, other classes work. Like, my physical education, um, my coach can send out an email and say, do 15 jumping jacks, but that's not, like, an actual lift. I'm in athletic strength training. I'm not going to do jumping jacks. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need something more, a little bit more. Luckily, I'm, I've am i been blessed with having Emily and being able to use her gym at any time. Um, it's just a great time to have connections. And, you know, it's the world's going crazy. And I think you just got to stay tight with those who you're friends with and then watch out, really. Um, yeah, and then, like, my, my photography class which, what's my photography going to teacher going to do? If we get placed in a shelter in place, which, you know, there, there could be a, a chance that Donald Trump does shut down the, the government, or not the government, the, the nation, what, what can we do? Can we take pictures of our backyard? Sure, you can only take so many pictures before you capture every square inch. Take pictures inside? I, I mean, I guess, but same, same concept applies. It's, it's intriguing to see what what's going to happen and what we're going to do. Um, the core classes I think can definitely be done at home, but I'm, I'm curious to see how all these extra classes do. So like broadcasting is fine. We got that figured out. Photography is going to be interesting. Weights is going to be interesting. How does wood shop work? How are all the wood shop kids going to do their wood shop assignment? What are they, are you going to watch YouTube videos? I, I, I really don't have an answer for you. And I think that's going to be the curious thing on how the coronavirus is going to do something like that. And maybe later I can get one of my uh, woodshop friends in to talk about it. And it's going to be, it's trial and error, honestly. There's going to be uh, just a moment in where we don't know what to do. We'll try and figure out what to do. And if it just doesn't work, it doesn't work. We'll move on to something else. And I feel like a lot of those classes will just have to stop. Um, we got news about the AP test, and the AP test is going to be a little different. It's going to be proc not proctored at home, but not with a proctor. It's going to be an online test. So what we'll do is we'll have 45 minutes for a free response, like a couple of free, free response questions, and then we'll just get it graded and evaluated through there, which kind of sucks because I can't use the multiple choice to save my butt anymore. Um, like AP, AP Lit is going to be different because it's going to be like write an essay, and from what I read in the email, we could either write it on the computer or write it on hand and take a picture of it. But then there's like so many other problems I see with that. And it's like, what if you're writing and you finish at the 45 minute mark, but you don't haven't uploaded it into the computer yet. Now, is that on you or is that on them? Or is that on the coronavirus? Or is it on that guy that ate the bat? We don't know, you know, it's, it's, it's just interesting. So the AP test is going to be different. I know a lot of exams that are going to be on the computer are going to be different because let's face it everyone has multiple devices in their houses they have ipads computers phones there's going to be a lot of cheating going on and in that email with the ap test it said oh everything's going to be checked twice for plagiarism and whatever okay okay i can still google how to integrate a function and it's like it's there so what's stopping me from doing that you know so 
I think it's just going to be interesting to see how all that works. I saw that um, the ACT and SATs got canceled, of course. And it's just been different. And I, I re we really don't know what to do or how to do it. But yeah, I think that's a lot to process. And especially with school canceling, we just got to figure out how to do what and we just got to be patient um i've probably seemed like a madman changing my mind a lot but i think that's just the best way to verbalize what's going on and i'm probably missing way more and it'll probably be in future podcasts but yeah that's about it for the how it's how corona is affecting me personally and that's just my uncertainty with school and not knowing how everything's going to work worst case scenario I just make podcasts for a living, but you know, whatever happens, happens. So, uh, I think it'd be a good time to look on the headlines for today. Um, this is all from the New York times from about three o'clock today. And the New York times had posted a lot. Um, most of it regarding Corona. So they said that stabilization packages would exceed $1 trillion. So that includes the stock market, the, uh, Trump's relief plan to like give everyone money. So that's going to exceed $1 trillion. And you know, you can't exactly print money. But I I really don't know how that's going to affect or how, how we're even going to acquire such funds and ability to do so. Um, going through Oh, my battery's about to die. FEMA declares New York a major disaster. That's a tragedy. Um, many delivery drivers have Corona symptoms, but never died. Well, now that I've, uh, you know, completely lost my train of thought and that my camera died again, I will figure this out pretty soon on how to, um, one, I want to start trying to do this live. Um, that's just my, my, my future. I want to start doing this at a more scheduled time. Um, and I also want to figure out how to make it so I can record it on straight to my computer not onto an SD card and bring it over. I was trying to do something different. I was using this Canon utility thing on my computer. And what you do is you can like hit record on there. So I hit record and that camera died. So then I have no clue what happened there, but I lost all my footage again. So uh, yeah, I'm going to figure this out pretty soon. Um, hopefully today, later today, since I'm not, you know, doing anything else. But um, I believe I ended with FEMA declaring a New York major disaster, but yeah, that happened. Uh, shoppers buying extra groceries. Now that's so true. Everyone's um, fearing that we're going to go into this huge apocalyptic scenario. I know um, a lot of the ammunition stores are all gone here and where I live, and that's as scary to think is that people are going to start turning this into Mad Max. They're going to start turning into The Walking Dead. And they're just going to start treating this as in if it's uh, an apocalyptic scenario. So what's going to happen? No clue. What we need to do? Stay safe. And I think that's just my best, my best advice. You know, I'm not any uh, professor or anything, but... You don't listen to this podcast to hear great thoughts. You get the thoughts of an 18-year-old senior in high school. So then um, moving on, we'll see that 27 states have called up their National Guards for support. They're preparing for what I was talking about, the scenario. That and then just have, having help with the relief. Um, that goes on. And then Trump is also promoting a unapproved drug for potential use to help corona um he tweeted this other like this morning and it was like oh use this drug and this drug and there wasn't much evidence behind it nor really a big article behind it so uh in my opinion i wouldn't take it but who knows so uh that's basically about it for the major headlines that i saw um we should talk about what i've been doing today because i feel like that's part of the whole experience with getting to know how corona is affecting me infecting us so uh this morning i woke up really late i woke up at 9 a.m i know that's such a late time so i woke up my dad was making uh, fried rice and bacon we ate that and then i was just kind of chilling then i went to emily's house got a little pump in today was my back day my pool day and um 
I got a quick pump in, and then my dad and I headed up. We headed, oh, I don't know what just happened there. We headed up up north to our uh, storage complex, and then we uh, worked on our four-wheelers. Um, we grabbed a couple batteries out of it and then charged them up. Um, and then I got home, made some grilled cheese sandwiches. We had a little little lunch, light lunch today. And then um, I had my podcast with Miss Higgins. So, yeah, that's that's about everything I've done today. And, uh, yeah, so sorry this podcast was a little shorter than they've been. Um, usually I've had more people calling in or more like a lot to talk about. But I feel like I got my thoughts and opinions across in a swift manner that encompasses everything that I need to. In addition, I'm still working out the kinks with this podcast, so uh, bear with me for a little bit. I promise you I will get it all done. Um, Just the biggest thing holding me back right now is these cameras have a record limit of 30 minutes. So that's fine. I can always just start, stop recording, start recording. But whatever I just did, because I saw, I watched this YouTube video, it was like, oh, you could do this and open up this other software and record it off this software. But I didn't get the software recorded in time. So I had this one software and I was like, oh, I'll just use this and it didn't work. But uh, yeah, we'll figure it, we'll get it done and we'll get it figured out. So um, yeah, that's basically all I have for you guys today. Um, tune back in later whenever I figure out if online school sucks or not. Um, stay safe, everyone. Wash your hands, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.